Hi everyone, uh, this is a video to show you how to retrieve um, the underlying data of a graph in a Word document when uh, the link to the source uh, data in Excel is broken. Um, basically, um, the, the graph in the Word document right, has lost its link to the Excel table. So how do we retrieve the data behind the Word document? So this this uh, this is actually to answer a Reddit question. Um, so I have created a document, Word document, right? It has now, it now has a link to an Excel file. So if I go to file, right? Uh, edit things to file right so the chart is actually linking to a C drive uh, file but uh, I actually delete uh, move it already so it actually couldn't uh, 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 edit the data in the Excel table so it says the link file is not available to edit the file click the file tab click the info tab and then under related documents click edit links to file so actually that file is gone really long gone so what what you do is um, no before I go there actually in a word in word document it still keep uh, the data so if you go quickly you go quick layout right you can see there's a table at the bottom you still can see your data right but but uh, but you can't uh, edit it anymore Right, there's no way for you to edit the data. So this is this is this video is to show you how to retrieve the data at the bottom, right? Because we can't even copy the um, the, the the table below the graph. So first step is go file, go edit links, all right? So you break the link, right? Because this link is no more no more useful. So make sure the source file is now, right? And then uh, you click on OK. Right now, when you look at the design, the chart design, you can't press. Uh, you can click on any anything relating to data. So the first step is, or uh, the second step is, go file, right? Save as. Um, Go to browse, save the word document in this uh, ODT format. This is very important step. Open document text uh, as Okay, then you save the file. Uh, there's a warning. Yeah. Do you want to continue to save in this format? Just click yes. All right. Uh, then uh, just uh, okay. Then you open your Excel file, All right? So you copy this graph. Remember, it's from the ODT format, and then you paste anywhere. Okay, we still have some error. Okay, undo, right? You just close the ODT file, right? Would you like to keep the last item you copy? Uh, no, right? Then reopen up the ODT file. Okay, try copying again to the Excel file. Hmm. See? Now you have. Uh, the graph from the word document and then when you go to design quick layout see you, you still can see the data behind the chart right although it's not linked to anywhere so I found this uh, website with a macro right to retrieve the data behind the chart um, so you have to go to this 
uh, this link here I will, I will put this link in the uh, in the description of the YouTube uh, video so this is the link okay so next step is uh go to developer uh ribbon so if you don't have a developer ri ribbon you go to i think you go to file uh, options customize ribbon yep then uh yeah find this developer uh, tab right and tick on it all right press ok Okay, once you are in the developer ribbon, right? Go to Visual Basic. Right, double click on the uh, sheet that have your graph. Right, just double click on it. Don't be afraid of uh, this uh, Visual Visual uh, Visual Basic screen. Just follow my steps. So you you have you double click on your sheet here, right? Then you go to. Um, the, the 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 link that uh you I, that I have just copied then you click on copy right so you copy all the macro codes then you go back to the excel file visual basic then control just control v right and then close the file close the visual basic file right and next step is click on the graph very important click on the graph huh? and chart or graph uh, whichever uh, uh, chart that you have um, then you click on view right and you go to macro view macro <coughs> then you run Okay, if it says out of range, it's fine. You probably need to <coughs> insert a new sheet and then name it chart data. I think it's chart data. Let me check. See, chart data. Okay. Okay, then click on the chart again. Go to macro, then try to run again. Okay, it's done. If you go to chart data, you can see the data behind uh, the chart. Retrieve. And now, um, you the next step is actually probably select data and then um, and then select the new range. I think you can select by that. Hope it works. Then uh, you probably can uh, delete this one. Okay, you got that ready. Uh, how do I delete? I can't remove. Uh. Um, basically, you can just. Um, Let me see. Yeah, basically you just create a new uh, chart that you want. See? You got a similar chart now. I think it's possible to um, select uh, uh, and, uh, new data. So I think you or we can do this select data source then maybe you highlight and you press ok yeah similar <laughs> maybe you need to uh, change the data type yeah change the data type 
Yeah. There you go. It works. Um, so this is the actually a hack, right? Uh, of uh, how you how you retrieve the data um, from uh, a, a chart. I hope this will help you. If it helps, please uh, consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Um, donations to PayPal are welcome as well. The links, the link to the PayPal is in the description. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Bye bye. Take care.